It is six o'clock at night, and I realize I never filmed my little intro at the beginning, so sort of welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Good morning, everybody. It is a little before 7 a.m. Um, everyone's still asleep upstairs, but I thought I'd go ahead and open the gifts that my amazing friend Jen Ross sent me. Um, she's just the sweetest. Um, she sent me a card that says, read me first. She is like the sweetest friend. Um, her and I had a great talk yesterday. Um, just really lucky to have her. Um, so she sent me the 65th anniversary edition of White Christmas, the theme she's doing, which every time she has sent me anything, it's like always like this beautiful thing because it's just her as a human. She's just so wonderful. Um, she said the whole theme is movie night as a family. She sent this pom-pom cozy throw from Pottery Barn. I'm already obsessed with it. It has like pom-poms along the top. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Look at that. It's so cozy. She sent me this stack of the classic hot chocolate, the double dark chocolate, along with the snowflake marshmallows from Williams Sonoma. And what's cool about these, and I've seen these in stores, all the canisters stack up on each other. And if you've never had the Williams Sonoma hot chocolate, it is worth every penny of a splurge because it's so good. I don't know, whatever this is smells unreal. Oh. She sent me the Times Hot Cocoa Candle. I wish you could smell this right now. I'm burning this this morning. It's so cute. A Times candle is like the way to go. She sends me something from Sugarfina every single time and this was one of my favorite things I tried so far in my advent calendar were the snowman gummies. So she sent me the so snowman gummies and the reindeer sparkle pop. Oh my gosh. They're snowman mugs. Those are the cute, I love they have like a little retro vibe to them. Oh, I love those. These are actually like legit the cutest things ever. I love them so, so much. If you are, well Jen, I know you're watching this. I've already texted you yesterday too and I'll probably text you this morning at a more reasonable hour. Um, if you're watching me, there is no way on this earth you don't know who Jen is. Um, her channel is Pretty Neat Living. She is truly, truly um, one of the kindest people. Um, and she's consistently kind and nice and generous and loving. Um, and I don't think you could say that for everyone that you meet or interact with. But she truly, truly is. Um, and we've built like a real friendship. Um, and I just adore her. I just adore her. That was a beautiful and quiet way to start the morning. And I'm gonna light this candle cause it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Times Hot Cocoa Peppermint Candle. Get it. Um, and I'm going to just relax and ease into the day. I don't really know what our plans are for this morning or for today in general. I didn't get my run in yesterday. I just sheerly ran out of time to do everything. Um, so I have all the stuff. We're gonna make the buffalo dip today and I'm gonna share that recipe with you. 
Um, and Sundays on Vlogmas are simple Sundays and we're gonna keep it very simple. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna light this candle and relax and ease into the morning. My parents have decided to come for Christmas, which I'm super excited about. But I do then need to jazz up their room. I need it to look more festive. I hurried up and grabbed that pillow from Pottery Barn that I already had in storage and this red blanket, but it just needs a little more zhuzhing. So what I'm thinking of is above the mirror hanging these snowflakes. I'm going to see what it looks like. We're going to go for it. These are ones that I save every year. I've actually had these for like two years. You can save them. I just put them on a coat hanger and call it a day. Added the snowflakes at all different heights. I think it looks so cute in front of the mirror. I just hung them from the post with um, some fishing line, but you could you easily use like scotch tape on your ceiling, anything like that. Already a huge difference. The next thing is every year I use this collection of styrofoam balls as like snowballs and I'm just going to fill up this container. So that is filled up with snowballs. Now I am just going to add some garland over here. Totally didn't overdo it, but totally added some festive touches to the room just to make it feel more Christmassy. Um, I have one more thing I might move up from downstairs, but the snowflakes, the snowballs, the accents of red, did the garland here added one of our floral arrangements from Wisteria there. It is around 10 a.m. and Steven took the dogs for a walk and I'm supposed to get ready because we've decided to go on another little adventure today. So uh, I was just catching up on some YouTube. I watched Louise Pentland, I watched uh, Marnie Goldberg, I watched Christina Brawley, and now it is time to go get ready and then we are off for another Christmas adventure. Um, it's about an hour away, so we'll have a little bit of a drive, but it'll be worth it. back home from another holiday adventure. I am already in my pajamas because today is Simple Sunday and I don't think you can get it much simpler. Um, we did do some shopping while we were in Skinny Atlas. Actually, the restaurant we were at gave us these mugs. But for the holidays, 
I picked up these two sets of napkins, which I just thought were super cute. And then um, two gifts. So I'm going to keep those wrapped. He's very concerned about what's for him. Then at a kitchen store, I wanted some things for breakfast. So I got some scone mixes, a raspberry and a blueberry. And then also picked up a scone and cornbread pan. And then we picked up Bubba's a new collar. Bubby, we got you a new collar. We got you a new collar at a fancy store. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you want it? It's yours. I came across this cookbook and the cover is what got to me. It's called Every Day is Saturday. Recipes and strategies for easy cooking every day of the week. And it's just like a beautifully shot book. It tells you what to do with leftovers. Like it's just a stunning book. So got that and excited about it. Nothing is for you except that collar. It's all you, it's all you get. I think we're gonna take a bunch of family naps. And then we'll catch up later. All right, my friends. So I am making my buffalo chicken dip. And I thought I'd press record, but it already stopped. All that is in here is two cups of shredded rotisserie chicken. I just use the chicken breast. I don't use any of the dark meat. If you are in a hurry and don't have time to do that, you could totally buy two cans of like the Tyson antibiotic-free um, canned chicken breast. And now all I'm going to add is two blocks of one third less fat cream cheese. I always use that. I don't see any difference in the full fat or the one third. So if you can save a little, you might as well. I've recently been making this dip and I've like used up to 12 blocks of cream cheese because I've been making it for like 40 to 50 people. The next thing I add that is a lot different is some people add ranch dressing. I like just the dry seasoning. There's something about like hot ranch dressing that kind of grosses me out. Um, so I'm just gonna add up the whole packet of this. And then I eyeball my hot sauce and I like it really, really spicy. And I have some leftover uh, Frank's buffalo wing sauce. And you really just have to eyeball it. So this is probably the equivalent of almost one whole jar and I'm just gonna let that go and I have more if I need it. I mean this is really how easy this is. I'm going to let this go on low until the cream cheese is completely smoothed out. Um, just stirring it every once in a while. Then we will add some shredded cheese, stir that in. We'll call it a day. That is how easy this dip is but I'm telling you people will go nuts over it. So we have the 21st and the 22nd to open today. We got fruity cereal and we got candy cane caramels. I forgot to sing the song, I'm sorry. But I can't sing it after I've already opened. We got an aloe soothing day cream. Our fun feminist fact, Johanna not even gonna try to say the rest of it. Became the world's first openly gay head of government in 2009 when she was elected prime minister of Iceland. A pink grapefruit hand cream, I'm all for that. As of 2018, Meryl Streep has received 31 Golden Globe nominations more than any other actor. We just talked about Meryl Streep. I like the, that's a cute pen. I like the triangle design. It <laughs> is a, coupon or coupon however you want to say it for five pounds off at paper chase i don't even know if there will be things in these anymore it's an empty box the 22nd does have something in it the 22nd has a really cute to-do pad which has like a list of 15 lines to put things on that's cute you can open day four i've been loving everything in this advent calendar by the way this is a deodorant. The product sizes for this are so great. This is amazing. This is a hair oil. That's awesome. I love this one and the products are so high end 
in like very good sizes. Oh, that's sweet. It was a little parrot. It was a little heart. That's precious. I'll use that in um during Valentine's Day. 21. He has arrived. The third wise man in 22 is 22 is the star. Let's go put these up. So now I feel like I'm gonna move the angel here. Put the star directly over the center. And then I'll add this wise man right here. I just, this is so stinking cute. 21. Um, I mean, I think it's a temporary tattoo. That's bizarre. I can tell by the color it's pomander. Pomander is truly what like every Christmas candle should be made of. All right, my friends, Steven went Christmas shopping and I'm left alone with the dogs. It's six o'clock. I'm probably just gonna read, have a glass of wine and just relax this Sunday night and wake up to Vlogmas day 23 tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.